so good afternoon so we're here again for another math lesson so it's actually a tutorial between me and my niece and this is their you know for this week so the part of two week six module yeah, the third self-learning kit so in this self-learning kit our objectives would be interpret the grouping exponent multiplication division addition subtraction or the gender's rule performs two or more different operations on whole numbers with or without ex exponents and grouping symbols and then be careful in evaluating the exp expressions involving different operations so we have here our learning competencies to interpret and explain the grouping exponent multiplication division addition subtraction gender's rule and then performing two or more different operations and whole numbers with or without components and grouping symbols. So here, let's start. So we have here activities or pre activities. We have activity one. So I'm just gonna let her answer first, and then we're gonna evaluate later if her answers are correct.
six times three. Six times three. Ni one kani na six times three. Eighteen plus three. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. The answer. Two hundred sixteen. Okay, correct. Okay, so let's go to the next, which is the lesson proper or the discussion. So we have here what we need to know. So we have we have here an example na pagyang an example. Nakasabot ka to. We have an example. Richard and Robert are both walking on the value of what is of the expression 2 plus 4 times 3 minus 6 divided by 2. However, they have different answers. Richard answered 6, while Robert answered 11. Which of the two pupils answered correctly? So, in a series of operations without grouping symbols, simplification and division are performed first from left to right, followed by addition and subtraction. Whichever comes first from the left to right. So, ang pasabot ano niya dere? Ang pasabot ano niya? So, in the series of operations, pero ito ang gihim mo kanina, ang mahitabo is mag-dicho dicho sa pag-minus. Mag-dicho kayo nga nila. 2 plus 4 times 3. Ang answer is times 3. Ang answer is minus 6. Ang answer is divided of 2. Mula na siya. May pasabot ano niya. But we have this, ano man, we have this MDAS. We have or the, we have this GEMDAS. We have GEMDAS rule 2. So, Thus, to solve 2 plus 4 times 3 minus 6 divided by 2, atong pasunuro ng atong, atong gamitin ng atong gem dash. So, first, ato is grouping. grouping. So, ano grouping? So, group na ka. So, ang naman of the day, ang una nito is multiplication man. So, multiplication, addition, addition, subtraction. So, atong una is multiplication. Four times. So, atong himuon, ang mauna is 4, four times, times 3. Dayon, after ana, so, ang answer ni mo is tanan tanan sa operation sa inyong equation expression next is division mm, so ito na bukas division okay so ang next sa division naggamay na lang yung answer yung expression I mean so next sa uh, the division ano sa next ang operation um, addition okay so addition din na ka Tayo yung lastly, we only have the answer na 4. Dira na four. ang subtraction. subtraction. Okay, so now we have the answer 11. So we're gonna try another example later. So let's go. So therefore, Robert got the correct answer by following the M das rule. So what is the M das? Kaya mag M das sa tag, kos, kumunti, doodod mo kayo kung atong grouping ano na tayo. So we have the discussion. So a series of operation may also involve grouping symbols and exponents in solving series of operations. So the following rules can be used. So now we'll be entering in the rules of GEMDAS for our discussion. So for our rule number one, we have simplify the operations inside the grouping symbols first. Grouping symbols are always done from the innermost set outward. Okay, let's look at it. So, our grouping set, we have this one. I don't know if you can see it. 2 plus 7 times 3 minus 5. So, our innermost, so our sulud, pagawas, muna siya. Kung mag-grouping kuno ka, ang sa pinakasulod sa kuno yung mga unahon na before ka magpagawas. So, evaluate exponential expression. So, kung natay mga exponents, parehan yung nga ni natay exponents, na siya, ito yung siyang evaluate o pila na siya. Then, multiply and divide in the order they appear from the left to the right. Add and subtract in the order they appear 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 from left to right. This is what we now call the GEMDAS rule. G grouping. Or the parenthesis. Parenthesis. Ow. Parenthesis. Karun. Parenthesis. Sama na parenthesis. Parenthesis. Exponent. 
motor M motor equation B division A addition S subtraction. Also, let us apply with them the rule. So we have example number one. Diri na kayo. Have example. So we have example one. Okay, so we have two plus seven times three minus five. So how big in one? This will have the exponent. So what does it mean? Neglect g g g m the sada, ha? Wala pa man tayo. Wala pa man tayo exponent. Sa tungo na hong sa unto pag Kung saan ito, if mag-grouping ang sa'yo na hon? Multiply 7 and 2 first. Okay. So, you write? You're just reading. Mano man sa sila may unahong multiply? Sa parenthesis. O wala kay parenthesis. Anong sila may unahong multiply? You may rules. Rules. Ang sama na siya nga rule. Unfortunately, after this clip, I wasn't able to film again because my phone became full storage. So I think that's the end for our session six. But guaranteed, I finished the tutorial with my niece. Thank you for watching.